welcome back to some more Let's Play Darklands with me, Polter Dash. Um, last time, uh, last time on Darklands, uh, last time ended up being a session of inventory management. Uh, but now that we got all that out of the way, let us uh, let us get right to this and step uh, into the mines of Morrison. Here we go. We nod to the miners and uh, tell them to close the door behind us in case uh, some shit hits the fan and cave elves start pouring out of the mines in droves and eat you all okay the miners piss their pants okay and we step forth open the door okay we kick the door open and we're gonna travel as a group actually wait we're not gonna travel as a group First, we are going to change marching order. I'm going to have Axiana go first. Uh, Inferno second. And then some like. Uh, Toby, Ping, and Hans. Okay. And then Axiana is going to poke her head out once. The rest of the party can get the heck out of the way. Okay, go. We're not gonna use that ladder. Um, in these dungeon quests, uh, once you commit to entering the dungeon, if you leave without completing your objectives, you fail. There is no going back out to heal up and resupply to try uh, try your luck. Try your luck at. Uh, it running the dungeon again. It doesn't work like that in this game. Okay. Okay. Clear. Get everybody in a pile here. Alright, so we have a, a path heading this way and a path heading that away. Which way do we go? I suppose we can go this way. Okay, bear. All right. Uh, angry cave bear possessed by the devil, snarling. All right. Okay, got a releases a an arrow. Nice. Takes out an eye. Here, just have everybody line up behind her. If not, oh, uh, well, well, you can have, you can stay here actually. Okay. All right, and then uh, Toby's gonna take a knee, take a shot. Ah, oh, miss. Hey bear. Uh, can you throw from behind the wagon? You can. Alright, he's gonna launch a javelin. Oh yeah. Axiana's gonna raise her spear and shield and brace for the charge. Nice, alright. The bear flies into her spear. Okay, and deals himself eight damage. Toby, you're gonna help Axiana. Pummel this cave bear into the ground before she takes damage. I think I want to put Axiana defensive parry mode with her shield and and spear. Uh, you don't get your hit points back after each battle, so uh, you want to make sure that you you fight very conservatively. Oh, nice! All right. That's Toby bringing a, his uh, military hammer down on the cave bear's skull. Okay, 
Wibbled, Foaming Axe, if you can. Or not. Alright, Ping, you do not have a shot anymore, so. Why don't you, uh. Try out your short sword. Nice, alright. Bears got down. And my sound effects stopped. Great, whatever. As long as it comes back. Um. Come on, sound effects. Don't be don't be lame. Well, we're gonna continue. Okay. Let's check out. Is this a path? It is. Okay. See, I, I, I'd be able to, uh, I would have been able to fix the, the sound problem here, no problem, if I was on my old computer, but, uh, for some reason on this computer, I have to play Darklands, DOSBox, uh, in full screen in order to record it, because of all kinds of reasons. Actually, I kind of took damage, why don't you take damage? Okay, now she's in heavy load. Um. Okay. I don't remember seeing her take damage, but she is going to. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's let's have her drink these. Okay. But yeah, like if if I were to, if I want to go back to my second screen, I have to, like, minimize this and then have to do all kinds of. And angling, and it, it would just look all messy in the recording and uh, stuff. Anyway, drink the iron arm. I'm sure iron arm boosts your maximum HP. It did. Okay. Now she's a normal load. Man, the sound cutting out is really really irritating me. Uh Okay, nothing here. Turn around. Turn you up around. Okay. This What's down here? A whole lot of space. And a treasure chest! Um, okay. Now comes the time for Axiana to do her thing. I suppose I'll have Toby follow. And there's a door down here. Right, because I'm, I'm, I smell traps in the area. We'll just keep tiptoeing until she sees something. She sees nothing. Okay. Oh, there she goes. Alright, Axiana discovers a trap. Alright, on the floor to the left of her. She's gonna turn the other way. This is another trap. Okay. Set by the caves, elves. Covers more traps. All right, Toby's gonna follow her. Okay, can we just make a run for here? Here. Okay. It's clear. Next thing, you're just gonna come down here. And check out the rest of this. So, uh, I don't know, maybe the party can come down here once uh, Axiana confirms 
that this lane isn't trapped. But for right now, Toby is going to pop open this chest. Oh, it doesn't need to be thingered. Lockpicked. Right, there's some... Uh, well, Toby is disappointed. Ping isn't. There's some uh, chemical reagents here. Okay. Alright, and I guess uh, Toby and Axiana can go and check what's behind this door so that if there's nothing there, we didn't waste time navigating the entire, entire party down here for nothing. Let's try the door. Let's try the door. Okay, how about Toby? Toby, try the door. Axiana <laughs> couldn't find the door, no. <laughs> Nothing. Okay. So I'll just go back here. Okay, go. Here. 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 Alrighty. Okay. And travels a group again. Let's check out what's. Let's go deeper down into the dungeons. Let's see what's down here. Julie Axiana lead with her high perception skill. Or perception attribute. Oh, what is it now? I didn't even check. Alright, 45 and 32. That's decent. More cave bears. Axiana hears cave bears around the corner. We're gonna prepare, prepare ourselves. Okay, Inferno was way in the back. I set the marching order so that Inferno will be in the front with Axiana, but these guys are all being all messed up. I guess I guess Toby's gonna have to tank this one. Okay. And uh, Wibbled. Uh, parry mode. And Inferno, you're gonna go. Wibble, you d don't launch yourself at the cave bear yet. Let them engage Inferno. And his mad hacking down skills, yes. Dealing 12 damage to the bear. Bring his long sail right uh, between the eyes of the beast. Wibble, go. Exiana, yes, you can. Okay. Right, and we have the bear surrounded, and we're hacking them up into bits of bear meat. Alright, reduced to a bloody pulp. Let's go put it down. What's down here? Farts! Okay. We see like a like a flickering flickering light beyond that marks the uh, exit of out of uh, this floor uh, and the entrance to the next floor. So uh, we'll wait on that. Let's explore the rest of the dungeon here, or the rest of this floor, so we're not missing out on fat loots. Though I don't think you can. I don't think there's a whole lot of decent loot to get in. In cave or um, not cave, but uh, mine quest dungeons. But I'm not exactly sure, so we're gonna make sure and uh, be thorough about this. Uh, some higher level dungeons contain really awesome uh, loot in the form of like equipment and things. I think in caves or in mines, you can only get. Alchemical ingredients, I think, but like it, like I said, yeah, I don't re exactly remember. So we're gonna make sure. Okay. We got cave bears. Okay, 
charging out of the darkness. So our party is gonna line up shots with the ranged weapons as best they can. Okay. And before it launches an arrow. Nice. Okay. Gets a bear in the arm. Doesn't phase it. Okay, no javelin throw from there. Or you're gonna launch a surprise javelin once it rounds this corner. Okay, Xander, from that position, you're going to. Holy crap, who dealt 20, 20 damage? I guess that was the surprise javelin. Surprise javelin! You got the bear's kidneys. It's yelping in pain. Oh, great! And I have an engaging pain by accident. Crap. Bring it down! Before thing gets mauled to death. Alright, 22 damage is awesome. No shot. Nice, alright. And with an out well aimed throw, Wibble takes down, brings down the cave bear with his throwing axe. Alright, I'm just gonna continue the meat grinder here. Xana, gonna knock another, or not, you know, come around the corner. How are you feeling? You're in heavy load. Time to pep yourself up with an iron arm. Drink. Okay. I think uh, once we exit this floor, we'll get some of our endurance back. That's why I'm taking the iron arms. And the essence of grace potions, they work better the, the, the less health you have. The, the more the Essence of Graces heal. So I'm saving the Essence of Graces for the, the bigger battles uh, that we'll m most likely be fighting in later. What's what's appearance of darkness here? It is... Oh, it's a cave bear! It's a cave bear. It doesn't see us yet. Okay, alright. Xiana gives a signal to halt, and then uh, tells everyone to just back off a little bit. Angry cave bear ahead. Maybe we, uh, while it doesn't see us, we can like flank it. Let's try. We'll leave uh, these three here. And these three are gonna go this way. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. We'll do something like this. Okay, it still doesn't see us. Then maybe we do something. I'm hoping that it would see Inferno and Ping. And not these three. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> that didn't work. Uh, whose turn is it to tank? Wibbled. It's your turn to tank. Go. Right. For the Hans, the Attic. League, it's being completely ignored, so whatever. Okay. You two charge. Charge into the buttocks! The cave bear. Alright. Oh, that's uh, a long sword. Shoved deep into the furry buttocks of a cave bear for 28 damage. And it's down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the cave bear have held that one. <laughs> Alright. Good, we didn't take any damage. Thank Jesus. I'm gonna 
check out this door. Axiana, right? She can't identify doorknobs on doors. Okay. Uh, there is nothing in here, says Inferno. Let's continue on to the next door, up here. I think there might have been a command or some buttons like I could be pressing for DOSBox to make it run faster so that my guys, uh, you know, so the end effect will be my guys moving faster to get to this dungeon quicker, but I don't remember them, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Alright, open the door. Okay, nothing in here. Just like a st storage room of some sort full of mining tools. Alright. Is that it? Did we explore everything? Yes, I'm kind of glad that uh, this this path wrapped around with the other path down this way, because I thought I might have to like backtrack back this way to get down here, because we chose to go up instead of down. All right, anyway, I think we got everything, but I'm gonna get my guys moving. Then I'll just check around the map to make sure I did get everything. Looks like I did. Alright, Coolio. Okay, Wibble leads the way back. All right. Let's go check out that door. Made of iron, it looks like. watching their step. Because the, the ground is fairly uneven. Cool. Okay. Yeah, but, uh, we're not through with this yet though. Uh, Wibbled has improved his edge weapon skill. Cool. And we got some endurance back. All right, we stand before a uh, a grim iron door that blocks our path. Uh, above the door is carved. All statements are true. Name. Tiff sends folk to open the door. All right. On the door are embossed six statements. Uh, the first one reads: All all kobolds love to drink rust wine. Next one is uh, Tifson is Hoondid's child. Uh, the third one reads Hourly, Tifson calls out the correct time from the depth of his lair. Uh, the fourth one reads Tifson is either a gnome, dwarf, or kobold. Uh, fifth, Hoondid hates Russ Wine. And the last statement is No gnome is ever truthful. We ponder and say. Alright, so we have to guess the correct race of Tifson using these clues here. Um, Alright, so all all statements are true. All these statements are true. Okay. So all kobolds love to drink rust wine. Alright, Tifson is Hoondid's child. And hourly Tifson calls out the correct time from the depths of his lair. Okay. Uh, Tifson is either a gnome, dwarf, or kobold. That that helps a whole lot. <laughs> uh, whom did hates rust wine? Whom did Tifson's child? No gnome is ever truthful. Okay. Uh, all right. So number three here uh, would. Is pretty much saying that Tifson is is honest because Tifton Tifson calls out the correct time 
from the depths of his lair hourly. Okay. That's a pretty dull job. Uh, and number six says, no gnome is ever truthful, which means that all gnomes are liars. And Tifson is obviously an honest creature thinger, which would make Tifson not a gnome. Okay, so we can cross out gnome. Hoondid hates rust wine. Hoondid is Tifson's child. All kobolds love to drink rust wine. So if Hoondid hates rust wine, that would make Hoondid not a kobold. And Hoondid is Tifson's child, which would make Tifson also not a kobold because they would have to be the same race, right? Uh, yes. Which would make Tifson not a kobold. So the only one, only other race that Tifson could be is dwarf. I think. Normally I would say before doing this because I, if I remember right, uh, given the incorrect answer has permanent detrimental effects on one of your dudes. <laughs> Don't remember what it was. Um, uh, okay. So, uh, Toby steps forward. And, uh, announces to the door confidently that the correct answer is dwarf. Tifson is a dwarf, says Toby. Oh, thank God. <laughs> the door slides open. Okay, everyone, uh, lets out a sh sigh of relief. A stunted figure steps forth out of the shadows. Uh, we finger our weapons, ready for anything. Um, an aggressive-looking dwarf glowers at you. His eyebrows bristling. We feel uneasy about him, so we... Okay, I, I, I think we'll uh, decide what we'll do uh, about this thing next time because um, I want to fix this sound issue this the, the, the other silence is killing me um, and slight cliffhanger and things all right so I'll uh, catch you all in the next video all right bye